chat open or popped out anyway hi everyone this is Chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is February 13th 2020 and we're doing uh, our drop in math tutoring session number three for the year 2020 so it's the third one we're doing in about six weeks the frequency seems to be about uh, one every a couple of weeks or so that we're doing this and we're going to continue to do this uh, until uh, the end of the school year which is going to be june basically uh, high school year anyway uh, in my part of the world which is western canada west coast uh, aside from that we've done a lot of these over the last couple of years so it's just basically open discussion and uh, if we're talking about anything uh, no matter what it is if you have a math question uh, post your questions and uh, we'll if anything else we're talking about is not math related we'll pause that and deal with the mathematics if it's math related make a little note here usually if there's a lot of stuff coming in and we deal with the stuff as as need be as we go along right and it's basically me making myself available for a couple hours every couple of weeks now I guess uh, to uh, help people out if they need uh, a little bit of help in high school mathematics and towards the end of the year usually we've done this a couple of years now and uh, towards the end of the year may end of may beginning of june we'll probably kick up the frequency of this because uh, people have finals coming up so they may have questions uh, and there's a another wave that comes in in may because university and college students give out get out earlier right than high school anyway uh, aside from that, uh, we're just going to chill until people show up. Uh, I got some tea. Right. I have uh, uh, snacks. I have apples laid out. I like eating apples during the fall and winter. Right. I have some water here. I got a stack of comic books. <laughs> I'm trying to make my way through. <laughs> right. I got one stack in this room, another stack in another room. So, uh, should we show until people show up? Might as well uh, show you uh, what I got lined up. They're mainly almost all true believers or the DC dollar comics, and I've been going through these things. Uh, these seem to be all the true believers. Uh, so, let me show you these. I'm not sure if uh, once we start talking comics, people that might uh, people that pop in might not want to go uh, start doing any mathematics. I think we're live anyway. It's pretty quiet here. There might be something going on. I have no idea. Um, let's see if we tag this thing properly. Maybe. <laughs> Always happy to show because these math videos we load on uh, BitChute and YouTube, right? As well. So they do go on both platforms that we're sharing. Uh, some stuff is only Bitchute exclusive, right? Right here, Machine Man. These are all reprints of some key issues that uh, specifically Marvel Comics uh, put out because they're uh, they're the true believers. And if I get the, and I do have uh, reprints or dollar comics that I picked up and dollar bins and stuff so this is wolverine um i think it's number it's a reprint of which issue is this number number 37 blood and claws lady what's her name um strike something i forget what her name is she's a cool character here's bullseye reprint here is Omega the unknown <laughs> and I'm still going through uh, Grant Morrison's multiverse uh, I got three more issues to go on that moon dragon the flash this is DC I don't know I haven't read this one so this is to my go-to pile uh, I don't know <laughs> what the what the story behind this is jeff johns i guess is the writer uh, i've read this a couple few times but i 
have it here too his first appearance of apocalypse first full appearance of apocalypse x factor five six man wolf man wolf. well you know these are the true believers reprints because they're all here right and usually at the back they show the original cover that you know they were published then and here's the this cover sometimes they don't include that let's check it out <laughs> yeah, there's, we got barely anybody here <laughs> whoever you are or whoever you guys are watching this i hope uh, you enjoy comics this is the first appearance reprints first appearance of nova right. what's this one odin power annihilation this is annihilation mantis the criminally insane absorbing man this one is DC poster child for crime Harley Quinn and Batman 613 very dramatic Avengers forever that one uh, I forget what that one is oh yeah this is uh, X-Men first appearance of uh, I believe let's check it out oh this is Captain Britain but is it the first appearance of Captain Britain I don't know if it's the first appearance of Captain Britain or not I want to check this make sure we're streaming very quiet here I wonder if I even tag this thing right edit let's see no we got this as you guys you know you got, yep hey Chicho for some reason I didn't get a notification when you went live weird glad to be here though yeah it seems like uh, uh, there isn't too many people here spider-man there's um, what do you call it notification might not have gone out maybe if no one comes in for math we'll go through these ones here yeah. good timing by the way i'm going <laughs> i'm going through the stacks stacks of comics that actually oh, by the way i totally forgot hold on a second this one so we got these ones to go this is actually the stack of comics that i'm giving my student every time i every time i go see him he's into comics giving him one of these so this is his stack my stack is on the side it's shorter because i've already read some of these I've read these ones this ones I've read here I'll show you these and then so this is what the students gonna get over the next until the end of June I guess until the end of the school year X-Men this one was good I read this one this is the first appearance of Jubilee I read the original as well but I got a copy of this for myself so everything that you see here I've got a copy of it for myself as well the Hulk this was not bad this was fun ah, I forget his name Joe Joe fix it <laughs> Hulk Joe fix it I'm here for you Chicho no matter what you stream <laughs> nice I love spider-man <laughs> we might restart the stream just to see if notification goes out oh wow first Drew really you definitely should get that great no this one is the check this out this is these are all the true believers reprints right so these are all the true believers reprints they're coming out for a doll <laughs> for a dollar a pop right uh, one dollar each so uh, I'm buying them right one copy for myself and one copy for my students this was funny she venom this was funny this is actually fetching a pretty high price too most a lot of these are actually bushman this is the first appearance of uh, not first appearance but uh moon knight number one right so his first uh, <coughs> his first solo series 
And this is Avengers, gotta be Master of Evil. I haven't I haven't read the one that I have in my stack. This is uh, Avengers number six. Check this out, reprint of Avengers number six. Cool. Here's my stack. My stack is a lot shorter because I've been going through it. Starsky doing good, brother. Looks like uh, notifications didn't go out that we're going live. It could be because, um, what do you call it? I did a post on Discord telling everyone that uh, the politics uh, current event stream that we had, uh, that we did on February 2nd, I uploaded that. It could also be glitches. We just went through all these comics, just showing, uh, going through what I'm going to be giving uh, my student. Uh, every time I see him, I give him two, two, two a week. <laughs> Fun. Captain Hawk, how are you doing? Dante, Dante, how's life? I got the notification, Chicho. You got the notification? Okay. It might have been late going out. Because me and Spider Man been chilling here for <laughs> about <laughs> 10 minutes or so going through comic books. <laughs> What's up, Chicho? Right, how's life? I got the. You got it? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Now, usually, because we've done a lot of these, it's like I do my little intro, Speedy Gonzalez style, and then I go, doop, 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 doop. The notification is late, okay. I should always have a stack of comics that we could flip through until people show up. Hey Chicho, have you ever studied math when when high? When under the influence when holy shit, I'm going fried. Uh Starsky, it's like whatever state you want to be in, mathematics can work, right? You just have to be comfortable in that state right like some people can do work in a noisy environment some people can't some people uh need to eat while they're doing work some people can't eat anything when they're doing work so whatever you're used to you use right you got an emote to riot riot right on here thank you what's their emote oh yeah press enter <laughs> we got a <laughs> love blush <laughs> nice <laughs> thanks riot the notification is often late, like 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes or so. Wow, wow, wow. I'm back. Martin, how's it going? Martin, how are you doing? It's been a while, man. The nightclub life has uh, been keeping you busy. Or the club scene. <laughs> it's, the, it's that fall winter. Uh, winter blues that people come in. It's all rainy and stuff. Okay, Dante. We'll be around. The plan is to do this for a couple hours. X, how you doing? That's uh, that looks like a smile either from the cat, the uh, Sh Cheshire cat, Cheshire cat, or it looks like the happy face from Cowboy Bebop with uh, uh, what's her name, the hacker. Um, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot her name. Uh, Ed, Ed. I do terrible on some assignments at school but at home I go through them so fast and very accurately yeah the some things you can't be on a time crunch right so be careful if you're on a time crunch you might uh, not do as well right because uh, you know antigens do eliminate the factor of time in a big way or play around with it anyway right it is what it is it is what it is right. no this one's delayed cool so basically we're in <laughs> we're in math mode or science mode physics mode artificial by the way uh during a current event stream we did um a couple of weeks about 10 days ago or so i uploaded the stream to bitshoot exclusive but i pulled out the 
parts where we talked about artificial intelligence transhumanism machine learning and all that jazz and i've edited that in the last you know a couple of days or so so that should be processed by the time i'm finished here so i'm going to take a look at it and uh, upload that either to bitshoot or youtube well to both of them bitshoot and youtube either tomorrow or a couple of days from now i'm gonna i want to i want to shoot a video uh so i have a couple of comic book videos maybe two or three comic book videos back to back on youtube and um if you've been following the work on youtube we put out a video of the comic book hall we went through a little history and talked about stuff and whatnot that was fun it took me a while to edit that um but the next video i do i want to do is uh if you recall through one of the comic books uh, that i sold on ebay it was the second last one or last one i think it was the second last one that i sold you know i sent out the packages and stuff like this i had a return request right and i went through ebay's seller protection thing right and i talked with him i, I accepted a return the guy never sent it back he ruined it. it was just crazy right i'm gonna try to make a video on that um but just to let you know um, I talked with eBay a couple of days ago and they said no th that person is a scammer and they they uh, they did their judgment in my favor right so that was fantastic I didn't have to return stuff so I want to make a video of that just to let people know the because when you're de dealing with bureaucracy you have to go through their channels right you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this now I don't know if I did everything correctly but I'll, I'm gonna hopefully put out a video telling everyone what i did right so if anyone has to deal with the same type of situation at least you'll have something to reference uh, and for myself too if i ever have to like i've been on ebay for 18 years i never had anything like this happen before right and uh it was interesting it was a learning learning experience right but i'm going to try to shoot that video either um, I'll see either tonight or tomorrow we'll see I've had I have been robbed on me yeah Martin uh, it's uh, personally I've been scammed by not scam but the sellers didn't you know they they were trying to pull a scam right for fake retro games yeah yeah so have I yeah for me for comic books right I bought comic books the you know the seller didn't say that the centerfold was attached or this was this, this because they assume i'm not even going to look through the comics or something right they sell so much so what's happened is i just said hey this isn't you guys did this and they would either refund me half of it and i'm okay with it whatever i'm pretty easy easy on it right but i've never been scammed by a seller before until i started selling these comics there was like three situations that came up two of them you know whatever it was a small scam um, i made it harder for them but this one was a bigger one right and i didn't like the way the guy was doing it so i made a stand it was good i've paid hundreds for fake games and then try to fight it and lose oh really ebay usually uh favors the buyer retro mobile phones for me wow wow chicho what's good sleepy waves how's it going from my understanding is ebay usually favors the buyer right so when this guy was doing this stuff i was like man what the hell <laughs> it sucked so and i've never had to dispute anything 18 years on ebay i've never had to go to ebay to say hey can you resolve the situation it's never happened uh, you just talk with the seller or whatnot that's what i've done anyway uh, to a certain degree there's one person i left a negative feedback and they contacted me right away they're like oh why'd you do that i go dude you did this <laughs> this like come on the guy's like oh please take it so i called him up and the guy refunded me and stuff happened to me sometimes too uh, but got all the money always back from ebay or paypal buyer protection cool that's good my username frank how are you doing it's weird i've i've rarely had really the the number of times i've bought in stores that i've had a problem with is is more than the number of times i've bought up off ebay that i've had a problem with uh, 
so i don't know i don't know how this but there are scammers operating on ebay uh, the kicker is i the guy delayed it so long i went to leave a negative feedback and the time had expired so that's the way i think the guy uh, maintains his positive feedback I no longer you don't use ebay anymore martin oh that's unfortunate like i checked that as soon as this thing happened i was like mm, i didn't like this right because they made it too easy for a scammer to try to scam people right so first thing i did i went out to the onto the financials and checked out ebay stock and if you check out ebay stock it hasn't done what a tech company should do right or should have done in the last 20 years um, so mismanagement most sellers are okay yeah most sellers are okay most are most of the comic book people i bought from they're amazing uh, most other things i bought from they're amazing the the really big sellers that sell a lot of the, what do you call like uh fake things uh, i sort of you know the lapel mic i use i bought from one of those people five of them and it worked out great right the sound quality we have is okay yeah usually ebay is good one time i sold a buffy vampire slayer jacket and it got delivered then the uh, ebay user said it was an unauthorized charge and she wanted this oh luckily ebay said it would just pay me back oh awesome that's good that's good how long did it take i've heard they can say unauthorized payment up to like three months which is like damn theater guy how are you doing what's up chicho it's snowing here what's the weather like there it's been uh today it's like cloudy and sunny sunnyish, right but we've had the rainiest january i think on record uh so it rained a lot last like 40 days uh, on the west coast it's been just as rain <laughs> mismanagement should be my <laughs> nickname <laughs> nickname that's funny your name is your joke knockoffs 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 thank you no snow and wolver wolver wolverhampton as yet wolverhampton as yet no snow this winter eh? for us we got a snow dump and that was it one little quick snow dump so it was interesting we have uh i have some videos on behind the live streams we did on loading them up uh so if i get the chance i might kick it up to speed mode but the odds are we're just going to continue on the space and just do a back uh sort of a lag between the time we do streams and time we load things up because uh, some of the stuff i'm pulling editing out and stuff but i might stop that and just load them up full load we see we see the comic book video i really liked it came out good i spent a lot of time on it trying to make sure uh it was as accurate as possible and someone already called me out on one of the mistakes it's like oh i made a mistake on that one <laughs> pretty accurate pretty accurate very accurate actually minor hiccups minor hiccups you've been catching up on the viz yeah you disappeared a while martin i hope all is well i hope all is well apple apple c was good lots of work on okay and being busy is a good thing as long as you enjoy what you're doing right for me that's the way i operate right i like being busy but busy on things i love doing so i adjusted my life to make sure most of the things i'm doing i'm loving them dealing with ebay was not loving had to be done christmas was very 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 crazy in pub oh i bet especially january did you get a huge influx of people coming in trying to catch the news of what was going on in the world because in times of turmoil i know that 
Mm. Alcohol, tobacco, entertainment consumption goes up to a certain degree because people don't want to think about the things going on, right? Or they need a social setting to get together and talk and whatnot. Mm. I'm curious. I wonder if you guys had a huge influx uh, because of... Uh, it's scaring people so they're coming into the pub where there's lots of <laughs> possibility of infection to talk about it coronavirus <laughs> cv was it i wasn't 100 sure what you meant with cv lots of bad talk about <laughs> there's so many theories about it i got some of my own which we might talk about maybe not on this stream though we can't do it on this stream gotta load this up on YouTube <laughs> because it's math related even though we haven't done any mathematics and we don't have to talk about math we could talk about anything and if we talk about anything I'll just title the title the video is something else and load it up right maxima how are you doing maxima maxima your name makes me want to read uh, transformers comics or watch like a wow the all the, the transformer movies most of them all of them except one of them was okay the uh what do you call that uh, bl uh, uh the bug um uh, bubble oh my god i forgot his name uh what's the transform movie the last one that came out that was uh the yellow beetle uh bee uh bumblebee bumblebee Oof. that took a lot of effort uh bumblebee transform movie was pretty good okay chicho any advice for trying to hold space for a friend who has been having a hard time trusting others uh this past year multiple people in their life have hurt and broken their trust i know they probably find it hard to trust in me uh sleepy so you've well, space for a friend who has been having a hard time trusting in years so i don't understand the question you mean people have lost their trust in you or you lost your trust in them nice <laughs> regarding transformers one of my youtube channels i watched were hacked got hacked oh really channels are... so what happens if they get hacked were they able to get their channel back i hope so like i swear hackers i consider any hacker that is attacking individuals independent creators uh targeting that them is a damn weak ass hacker right because they're attacking uh name change name change okay they're attacking individuals right that means they're scared to attack institutions right so if they're if, if they're if if they have any capacity at all they wouldn't attack individuals right even if it's easy prey that means you're a bottom feeder right why not use your powers for better better things in life that way you learn a lot more when you challenge yourself right because uh, anyone worth worth an ounce knows that it's not just about the money right but videos are still coming through for channel owner okay so their name got hacked huh interesting right now with serious changes taking place online right serious changing uh, changes taking place there is um, like right now i started announcing on i've gone from one a few years ago to three a couple of years ago now i'm announcing on uh, uh, twitter minds gap vk elo and discord so six 
platforms I'm announcing on because this purge is taking place, deplatforming taking place. So you have to make sure that uh, you're still out there, right? Neither someone I I'm interested in, a friend of mine, is having a hard time trusting in others. I'm trying to learn how to be there for her. Um, Sleepy ways. Um, uh, if someone is having a hard time trusting other people, you got to go slow with them, and it depends what the trust is, right? Uh, trusting in what? Tr trusting in finance. Trusting in being alone with them. Trusting in keeping a secret. Where does the trust level? What's it related to? Trust, trusting, and being in a relationship because they've been hurt in the past. It's it, trust is a very open, open platform, right? I also recently saw a channel I follow got hacked or changed without explanation. A video essayist turned into a football channel. What? It could be also Dante. Uh, some of the channels might be doing that because they're they're being uh, flagged by youtube right saying hey this video is not appropriate this video is not appropriate and they're down to their last strike so maybe they go and delete all their videos and because they have the viewership they have the followership they just change it up and start uploading something that's more benign right like for me i'm not loading any of the straight up politics live streams on youtube anymore anything we've loaded on youtube that's related to the coronavirus is demonetized right away by youtube right the algorithms catch it who knows at some point they might say these are, are inappropriate and they flag it right and then i'll have to take them off youtube and they'll be available on bitchu okay right now there's purges going on so if you really appreciate someone's work uh, follow them on multiple platforms you don't have to go to all the multiple platforms but turn on your notifications for the alternate platforms that people you think they're more open they do less censoring the hacker was Bitcoin link. oh was it for yours Martin the hacker was Bitcoin link. yeah pathetic pathetic right weak 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 yeah yeah i agree i agree on the plus side there are way more powerful honorable uh people working in the backgrounds taking care of other things right they take on the giants right the weak ones are i'm watching uh what do you call it the goblin slayer right i'm towards the end of goblin slayer fantastic series by the way anime uh, not for children again this is more adult oriented but uh, I think of those people like little goblins right that have been set you know have lost their way from the herd uh, the channel owner is fighting it good 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 a lot of stuff going on right that's one of the reasons I, I'm jumping around with these live streams and many levels, right? This is not American enough to be monetized. <laughs> hey, everybody. Nikki, how you doing? How's life? Welcome to a random discussion live stream. <laughs> we had a, by the way, we had a fantastic, the discussion that I edited for the artificial intelligence I'm, I'm titling the the video uh, thoughts and discussion on artificial intelligence transhuman uh, artificial intelligence transhumanism machine learning um, simulations and virtual reality right uh, that one should be up in the next couple of days we'll see if I can get that eBay video out I do want to share that information so we see life's good how about you my friend doing well Nikki doing well getting back in like 80% now from the fruit flu <laughs> still have to cough weird so many people I know they've been sick for like six weeks seven weeks 
craziness craziness nature nature telling humanity to chill the f out right craziness craziness fun by the way if you're following the data on uh, the cv we'll call it cv because the video gets zapped on youtube if we don't what is going to happen when the house bubble pops uh, i think it is popping all the uh, right now it sure can linger yeah nikki yeah it's lingering it's crazy like i lose my breath a little bit uh, when i talk a lot right so it is what it is right it is what it is but as long as it's on the uptick it's good but just regarding data the the video we did regarding cv the pandemic uh or the virus or whatever you want to call it uh we're seeing data fluctuate based on how they're measuring things and data becoming more available and stuff like this so we just saw a major jump up in the data right so we'll be, we're going to start taking a look at these things i fear for the future of humanity um i don't fear for it martin i i think it's uh it's just cyclic nature of things and this is the the period that has been our our lot right we're here to witness this um <laughs> like <laughs> can't really do anything about it might as well enjoy the ride right um hopefully it's not going to be uh if you can enjoy it if you're caught up in the flare-ups then do the best you can uh, either get yourself out of there or better the situation or make sure you're not participating in in whatever it is uh, so being informed is ridiculously important right now more important than like being informed is always good you know know what's going on politically economically and stuff like this but right now people who don't know what's going on um uh, I don't fear for them I'm a little concerned about them they don't understand the gravity of the situation I don't think humans will go extinct but destroying civilization and being set back hundreds of years is very real possibility I, I don't fear it as well we could uh, Dante on the extreme level sure we lose a lot of uh, productive capacity or we get set back like the biggest thing is nuclear um, the biggest thing is nuclear and bioweapons to a degree but um, that's we'll see where that goes right I'm good I just think way too much well that's that's part of your job Martin if you're if you're taking care of a bar uh, managing a bar you're supposed to worry a lot that's part of the part of the job criteria i think i've never my greatest fear is the sun <laughs> i feel you it was a period i had a lot of friends that worked in the service industry in bars and restaurants and i would have i set up my life so i would have their uh their daily activity their timeline really so sunrise you go home sleep sun setting you're getting up and doing your thing to a certain degree right i've lived through the periods of ebola west nile swine flu and bird flu i'm not too worried at the moment now uh, theater guy uh ebola uh it hit the radar uh, it was like okay this is and it's still there by the way Ebola hasn't gone away it's still there right um, SARS I wasn't concerned about bird flu I wasn't concerned about swine flu I was uh, maybe because I lived in part of the world that it didn't affect me if you look at the uh, SARS um, period like 20 years ago 18 years ago or so in China I believe they killed a lot or was it the swine flu I can't remember there are tens of millions of pork pig that were put down right so 
that would be huge if you if you were being affected by that right so it really depends where you live but the only for me being in a protected area ebola hit my radar i was i was like oh let's see where this goes it fizzled out pretty fast uh, coming out of africa anyway still prevalent in africa but not concerned about sars this one is hitting my radar this thing is hitting my radar and i'm checking into it i i'm more aware most definitely my greatest fears is that she showed the man monkey farts how are you doing you all should be afraid of that asteroid that's getting super close to us <laughs> yes yeah, i heard that is there one there, there's supposed to be one there's always supposed to be one but uh, yeah asteroid i wouldn't be too concerned i'm half joking ah nice good spider-man <laughs> martin's like what <laughs> i can only hope they hit us no no we don't want to get hit by an asteroid that's not a good thing that's not a good thing not only that it'll create a lot of chaos our current economic system will become even more bipolar uh, and legacy companies and a lot, lot of power will be able to accumulate more power not good someone called bruce willis <laughs> yeah that was <laughs> what a crazy movie that was right uh, what was it called armageddon talk about oh god as a as an apocalyptic movie it was entertaining but if you look at the propaganda value of that thing it was insane right it's not a good thing but it will give the planet a nice rest and a lot of other species right other than uh, human beings being affected it's the size of the largest building in the world they say it has a 0.1 percent chance of hitting us though okay yeah i wouldn't be too concerned we probably have a 0.2 percent chance of a nuclear war so <laughs> that was double the double the probability don't forget deep impact deep impact you know which one i liked uh on that level which was fantastic was uh core where they where the earth's core is um outer core is uh is stopping is solidifying so the currents aren't there so earth magnetic field is not uh is losing its strength that's why a lot of people were burning and stuff like that so if we lose like the only thing that the main thing that's uh keeping life alive on this planet is not you know co2 levels and stuff like this is earth's magnetic field if we lose earth magnetic field kiss earth goodbye right so this movie was about the earth's magnetic field uh, diminishing in strength because the outer core the currents the convection currents and stuff like this were slowing down so they dig into the earth and set up nuclear weapons to create a chain reaction of to get the earth's core kicking in again that movie i really liked It's going 35,000 miles per hour. Yeah. And, and if an asteroid that the size of the world's largest building hitting the Earth, that's going to take out a lot of people. It's going to create a lot. The momentum behind that was astronomical. I watched the negative 90, the 98 Godzilla from TriStar yesterday. I've seen it. Which one is that one? Is that Matthew Broderick? That's my favorite guys. Is that the Matthew Broderick one? I think I remember Court. I've watched Court like three times. <laughs> it's not a world ender, but scientists say it would kill millions, take out an entire continent, and cause nuclear winter for years. Yeah. I really like the D Day After Tomorrow. Fight me if you disagree. Uh, the Day After Tomorrow. The day, I've seen it. Which one is that one? I also like the one where. Uh, they freeze and also the one where spoiler warning spoiler warning where there's supposed to be five spaceships that are going to save humanity but they're in the himalayas i won't give the whole thing away 
Shin Godzilla and the 50s original are my favorite then there are the hilarious Godzillas from Toho my wife really likes that. <laughs> maybe that's worse should do some math about how much force that it since it is uh, mad yeah we could do it right away. let's do it Broderick yeah that that one was good too the force of an asteroid that be that big hitting that is yeah that one asteroid the size of a car took out a bunch of buildings in Siberia and it only exploded in the air yeah I heard the extra uh, some of the asteroids that they go Poof! it the uh, the impact radius is much larger right the day after tomorrow I ice age one. Oh, is that the ice age one I like that one too that was good helping in math problems here yeah for sure Lester I can get you some info about it Chicho. sure from what we know it's uh, we need the weight of it connect uh, momentum is uh, MV MV <laughs> I forgot my formulas man some super flaring into yeah sunspot activity is going up but uh, I've also heard that we're going into an ice age right uh, Lester for sure you got math questions uh, let us know we do uh, no. I should have my physics formula sheets here really formula uh, yeah MV mass velocity but it says uh, the asteroid which is set to have a diameter of about uh, 3250 feet could trigger a nuclear winter if it collides with earth uh, the news outlet well we'd have to know what the we're over two for an ice age according to the problem yeah yeah we could do uh, how much does it like it's 3250 feet uh, you know what can we convert that to meters that'd be like a thousand meters that's approximately a thousand meters uh, feet two meters we could do the conversion but three thousand oops three thousand two hundred yeah that's about a, a thousand meters a thousand uh, a uh, thousand meters right so that's about a thousand meters just use one kilometer close enough one kilometer well if it's one kilometer we would have to know what the density of the the thing is right because if it's an asteroid full of pumice it won't be because pumice is like volcanic rock and it's very light if it's asteroid full of uh, basaltic rock or it's got heavy metals in it, it, it the impact will be a lot more the momentum if only someone here knew something about rocks I know what geology I do <laughs> but I forgot it all right so it's got a diameter so let's assume it's this its diameter is one kilometer right one kilometer so this is 500 meters right <laughs> How much does a 500 meter uh, radius asteroid weigh? We got to do search. We have to do. We have to find out. Uh, you know what? What's the density? Oh God, I haven't done a density conversion forever. A uh, density conversion. Density. Or we could just do a multiple. Figure out how much a. Um, no I wouldn't want I don't want to do a density conversion I haven't done a density conversion for like 20 years <laughs> let's see how much how much does a boulder one meter one diameter meter way come on duck duck go you can do it you can do it let's check it out i don't know what this thing's giving me let me check the chat anyone find uh c m c s and m class asteroid is grams per centimeter cube okay so let's check this out grams per centimeter cube okay so let's do 
Let's do both. Let's do the extremes. So let's do here. Let me bring a. There's a wiki page. Standard asteroid physical characteristics. And then look at. Okay, cool. So let's do this. So this is our asteroid. Okay, I'm gonna move this over. So we're gonna need some space here. So let's do some mathematics. Nice. So our question is: There's an asteroid coming to the Earth, right? And it has a radius of 500 meters. Okay, it's traveling at, I believe, 35,000 kilometers per hour. Was that what it was? Let's take a look at this. 35,000 miles per hour. Let's say kilometers per hour. Quick calc in the head says heavy. <laughs> so let's assume it's going at. Actually, let's do a conversion. 35,000 miles per hour. Let's just do a straight up conversion. No, that. Kilometers. Uh, kilometers. Two miles. So let's do a little search. 35,000. Doink, 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 doink. So it's 56,000 kilometers per hour. That's pretty damn fast. Is that how fast it's going? <laughs> That's really fast. Are we sure about that? I keep saying 35 to 36. I'm not sure which is right. Either way, 35, 36. That seems really fast. 56,000 kilometers per hour. Okay let's do it would you submit to have terminal velocity yeah like but terminal velocity only matters through atmosphere in space you can go there's no resistance right there is no terminal velocity and if asteroid is going that fast it's just going to come down and go right it's going to part the atmosphere really like going through is just going to go right so i don't think terminal velocity plays a role for us Terminal velocity is only within a small, small layer of atmosphere that we have. In space, there is no terminal velocity. Terminal velocity would be the speed of light. You know, we can't reach it. Feet per second. Wow, that's a lot. So let's call it, let's call it 50,000 kilometers per hour. Okay. And only if only if you you want it okay so let's do this uh, class C and S and M so I'm assuming that's light medium and heavy weight but let's call these the densities class C it weighs uh, 1.38 grams and this is going to be doop, grams per centimeter okay And this is the units, right? Actually, I should do it. Da, 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 da. Here, we'll just make a table. We'll make the list there. 1.38, 2.71. So 1.38, 1.38, 2.71, and 5.32, 5.32, right? So that's our uh, density of asteroid made up of class c class s and class m rocks right now the formula for density well this is uh, grams per centimeter so what we need to figure out is how many cubic centimeters we have here of material right so we want to find the volume of a sphere because this is a sphere right so volume of sphere i think is four thirds pi r cubed Let's see where you're going now yeah so let's check this out uh volume formula let's keep that there volume formula volume formula Boop. come on just give it a volume formula do, 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 do. oh volume of a sphere volume sphere I need to say sphere. Uh, yeah, four thirds pi r cubed. 
right? So we got four thirds pi r cubed. Okay, cool. Thanks, Josie. Four thirds pi r cubed. So volume is equal to four thirds pi r cubed, right? So we need to figure out what the volume of this thing is in centimeters, right? So what we're going to do is, is convert 500 meters to centimeter, right? So let's do all these conversions down here. So you see how the conversions work out too, right? And we don't have any brain farts or me making any little mistakes. Oops, we wrote down squared. Did I? Oh, whoops, I wrote down squared cubed. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Chicho brain farts, not good. <laughs> Things don't work out. So correct me if I get it wrong anywhere, okay? So we got 500 meters and we want to get centimeters out, right? So we're going to multiply this by meters in the bottom. One meter is 100 centimeters. Okay, let me, let me write this out so it's not messy. And this is exactly what I do when I'm doing my own calculations. I have to write things out, right? So one meter is 100 centimeters. So if you multiply this out, right? The meters kills the meters. You have two more zeros here. One, two. 50,000 centimeters. Okay. Centimeters. So we can find out the volume of this thing in centimeters. So four over three pi 50,000 cubed. Okay. Now what we're going to do is write this in scientific notation. Okay, I'm going to work it out and then we're going to erase everything, put it here so we see what it is, right? Or just write it out here. So we've got four thirds pi five times 10 to the one, two, three, four cubed. Okay, so this becomes four over three pi five cubed times 10 to the power of 12 because we've got exponent to an exponent, you multiply them, right? 5 cubed is 125, right? So 4 over 3 pi 125 times 12, a 10 to the power of 12. Does 3 divide into 12? Mm, doesn't evenly, but we can do it with a calculator, right? So because 3 goes into 12 four times and we've got a 5 left over. So let's do this part 4 over 3 times 125 times pi in a calculator and get a number and we're just going to leave it as this right leave it in scientific notation and this is where scientific notation comes in handy right when you have gigantic numbers we're just going to deal with it this way so 4 divided by 3 is that times where's my pi here where's my pi times 125 125 boop. we get 500 and 23 and we're not rounding anymore we're, this is good enough we're not going to go any decimal places times 10 to the 12 and if we're going to write it in scientific notation we're going to kick this number this way two decimal places because scientific notation has to be a number a decimal and then the rest of the numbers so we went from here to here we made the number smaller so we have to make this one bigger so this becomes 10 to the power of 14. that is the volume of this asteroid okay so let's put the volume of the asteroid here 5.23 times 10 to the 14. i'm going to erase the rest of the stuff okay and i'm going to put the um radius of this guy here radius is equal to five times ten to the four centimeters okay so let's erase this we don't need this anymore and we're going to erase all this and it's 5.23 times 10 to the 14. so let's put this metric here volume is 5.23 times 10 to the 14 centimeters cubed okay 
2.7 meters my math must be wrong 2.7 meters Oops. Mm. should I check something should I check something is it 2.7 meters million oh million <laughs> two point seven mil it's uh i might have punched the stuff in wrong but if we do this times 10 to the 14 it's way bigger than that right because we have to do it in centimeters cubed right what i did was right okay good thank you for the confirmation uh josie so we got the volume here and the density uh this should be cubed uh, centimeters cubed I believe density should be cubed right is it cubed or centimeters where are we given density uh, I rolled over it oh. it has to be it has to be cubed okay cool thank you <laughs> so it's grams per centimeter no it can't be grams per centimeter it's mass for volume volume must be cubed so we just want to figure out what the weight of this is um, hold on a second yeah it is cubed it has to be cubed that's right so all you got to do now is multiply this with these numbers right agreed Josie it is cute yeah it is cute that has to be cute otherwise it wouldn't make sense so this has got to be cute yeah I drop exponents and accidentally write wrong numbers this used to cost me a lot of marks on tests okay by the way don't be as quick and messy as as I am okay so this thing uh so if we want to figure out the weight of this thing it's just going to be the volume times this right we'll figure out how many grams it is like a room multiplied by weight yeah okay so we're just going to go i'm pretty sure this is the correct way to do it right because we're going to go centimeters cubed here let me erase this this is oh yeah this is the velocity so velocity is five times 10 to the 4 kilometers per hour right I think that's what it was 50,000 wait a second you 50,000 <laughs> this is so awesome thanks for making my DJ my pleasure spider-man thanks for the help guys by the way I like this uh, and because I, have, I don't do this with my students right now to a certain degree right uh, so I like different problems that I work with uh, sometimes my students go oh teacher you did it all or you did it all wrong right so what we want to do we want to go centimeters cubed times grams per centimeter cubed right if you're just talking about the units and the units kill each other so you're left with grams right the units sort of tell you what to do and I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do to go from density to the weight of a object right if i'm wrong joseph please let me know this is going to be brutal if this is not the way you do it right so it's going to be 5.23 times 10 to the 14 and we're going to multiply this by 1.38 and we're going to multiply this by 2.71 and we're going to multiply this by 5.32 okay i'm writing them here because as soon as we figure out what these numbers are 5.23 times 10 to the 14 and 5.23 times 10 to the 14 right as soon as we figure out what these numbers are we're going to erase this and put this in a, another section here 7.22 is that this one uh, yeah that looks like it should be around seven right can you punch it in yeah that'd be great if you guys can provide the the numbers i'm just going to confirm that we're talking about the same thing point two three times one 
0.382. Yeah, so that's it. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. So this is uh, 7.22, 7.22 times 10 to the 14 um, grams, right? Because we've got grams left over. And then we got, does the US need a labor party? <laughs> I don't think so. Sleepy waves. I don't know. But one thing the U United States definitely needs more of is more people literate in the language of mathematics. Every country needs it, right? 2.78 times 10 to the 15 grams. Okay. So those are the weight of this thing, this asteroid coming down, right? So let's transfer these numbers here. I'm going to erase these guys now. So how am I going to fit this in? I should have written this in a table, but we'll do it this way. Uh, we'll go weight, mass, weight, mass, mass, weight, weight, where's the weight? Mass is the mass. No, it's the weight. Mass is times the gravity, right? So for C, it's going to be 5.23 times 10 to the 14. Oh, geez, Louise, I'm writing the wrong number. It's going, going to be 7.22 times 10 to the 14 grams. For S, it's going to be 1.42 times 10 to the 15 grams. And for M, it's going to be 2.78 times 10 to the 15 gram. Right? I have a number for weight of asteroid, but I'm waiting for your calc. Okay. So this is the mass of this thing. Or the wait, this is the mass of this thing. Oh my god, I always get it bad. Mass equals weight force mass times gravity. It's mass. Is it mass? It's mass. Jeez Louise. Mass me and words i don't mess 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 with uh it's not just names i have a hard time with right it's everything word related right but in newtons the problem most people call it uh call it all weight so it confuses people yeah so let's erase these so that's mass right now momentum is mass times velocity it happens it happens <laughs> right so momentum is equal to mass times velocity okay and mass has to be in kilograms it doesn't it's not in grams right so we're dealing with si units i'm pretty sure it's got to be in kilograms right i'm glad i i returned this is so relaxing awesome martin momentum Momentum, momentum. Let's check it out. Uh, da, 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 da. SI units is kilograms. It's got to be kilograms. Yeah, it's kilograms. Mass should be in kilograms and velocity should be in. Oh, this is this is the one I got to switch. Meters per second, not kilometers per hour. It's meters per second. Thank you, Josie. You rock. So we got to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, right? So we've got to, first of all, change kilometers to meters. That's easy. One kilometer, oops, kilometer is a thousand meters. So kilometers kills kilometers. And now what we've got to do is convert hours to seconds, right? <laughs> Thank you, VIP. Right, Chicho, so glad I found the Twitch channel. Been watching you on YouTube. Figured I could enjoy the live experience. Awesome, awesome. Dart hooky. 3,600? No, it can't be 3,600, Lester. 
I knew my half engineering degree before I switched to software would come in handy one day. Nice. So we're gonna convert hours. So we've got to kill hours up top. And we're not gonna go from hours to seconds right away. We're gonna to go to minutes, right? So there's 60 minutes, right? So hours kills hours. Uh, so we got meters up top, but we've got minutes in the bottom. So now we've got to kill minutes. So one minute, oops, minutes is 60 seconds, right? So minutes kills minutes. Now we got meters over seconds. So what we got to do is multiply five times 10 to the four by, oh, one hour equals 3,600 seconds. Thank you. I wasn't sure where the 3,000 seconds was coming. 3,600 seconds coming from. I'm going to inform all my patrons on the results. <laughs> you should sell more of you. <laughs> nice. So this becomes five times 10 to the four times 1000 divided by 60 and 60. So zero takes out zero, zero takes out zero. Okay. Now we got five divided by 36. So five divided by 36, right? Five divided by 36 is point one three eight 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 eight. So this is going to be 0 0.139 times 10 to the, oh, hold on. There's another 10 here, right? So it's going to be 10 to the five, but then we want to write this in scientific notation. It's 1.39 times 10 to the we went from here to here the number got bigger so that gets smaller four okay i hope i didn't do any uh brain farts here so velocity is going to be 1.39 times 10 to the four meters per second okay Hopefully I did that correctly. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it up if you guys want to check. Now we're gonna erase it. Okay. So momentum is mass times velocity. This times this. Oh, this gotta be in kilograms. So let's erase this, convert to kilograms right away, right? How many grams in a kilogram? Thousand grams in a kilogram. Looks right to me. Okay, cool. I concur. So thousand grams in a kilogram, right? So we're going to kick this 10 to the power of 15 down three notches. So it's going to be 10 to the power of 12 kilograms. Okay. So that's grams. So it's going to be 2.78 times 10 to the power of 12 kilograms. This is the number we need, and that's the number we need, right? So momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Mass is that, 2.78 times 10 to the 12 times 1.39 times 10 to the 4. So 12, 10 to the 12 times 10 to the 4 is 10 to the 6, oops, 10 to the 6, oh, yeah, 10 to the 16. <laughs> So 10 to the 16, 10 to the 16, and 2.78 times 1.39. 2.78 times 1.39. That's 386. 3.86, and the units of this are kilogram meters per second. Kilogram meters per second that's the momentum of this asteroid right yeah awesome so that's the momentum of this asteroid pretty serious but what else should we figure out we should figure out the force of it force of impact is mass times well we don't know what it's accelerating um the newtons how much force does it contain how much energy no we could figure out the energy i guess can we convert to energy yeah we should figure out the energy <laughs> thanks them so what's the energy formula energy energy we need an energy formula 
as you can tell I'm not a fan of memorizing formulas right I look everything up energy energy Boop. oops not volume formula formula energy one half mv squared kinetic energy oh it's the kinetic energy what yeah that's all we got to figure out it's just the kinetic energy that's right we're going to figure out the kinetic energy so kinetic energy energy kinetic here do you know what the, let's erase this and put the momentum here right so the momentum is 3.86 times 10 to the 16 kilogram meters per second let's figure out how much energy that is to convert uh, then convert energy of the asteroid to something understandable like how many liters of water that energy could boil mm, yeah we could yeah, yeah yeah let's do this I re I don't know how many liters of energy it's how much energy it takes to boil water but we can figure it out so that's the momentum now we're gonna figure out the kinetic energy kinetic energy was one half mv squared which is going to be one half the mass is 2.78 times 10 to the 12 times the velocity 1.39 times 10 to the 4 squared is that what we get you've dropped the three types of asteroids oh yeah which one do we figure out we just figured it out for this one we'll do this one too we'll do this one too I totally forgot the three different types of asteroid. So right now we're figuring our lower limit for how powerful this is going to be. Uh, you're just using the heaviest option. Am I using the heaviest? I thought it was this one. Did we use, did we multiply by this or did we multiply by this? I totally forgot. Oops. So this guy is going to be times 1.39 times 10 to the 4 all squared so the units of this the power of this would be 10 to the 12 times 10 to the 8 which is 10 to the 20 which is uh vip has uh figured it out like could that asteroid boil away five olympic size when, oh i could probably boil away the, the what do you call it the, the great lakes right maybe one of them like eerie maybe look at your mass section you're using heaviest oh yeah that's right i'm using the heaviest so here we're doing the calculation for this guy right now right so what was this oh yeah so this these two guys we're using these two guys the only difference between these guys is this is kilograms and that's grams right so let's do this so this is grams and that's kilograms thank you i lose track of where i'm going with this stuff sorry i forgot to multiply by 0.5 small wasn't it sorry yes okay cool so okay awesome so two point so oh you forgot to multiply by this okay so this thing the energy of the heaviest one so what we should do is erase this line and it's just the heaviest one we're figuring out right so we'll erase this as well so the kinetic energy if you punch this in is going to be and is the comma are you uh vip uh are you from Europe? Is the comma a decimal or is that? It's got to be a decimal because you got four digits after. So it's got to be a decimal. So if you multiply that out, we should get kinetic energy. Oops. Kinetic energy is equal to 2.68. 2.68. Because in Europe, they use uh, decimals. Yeah, commas as decimals. Times 10 to the 20 um joule newtons Joop. hold on decimal comma for uh, newtons forces newtons energy da, 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 da. Uh, velocity units oh here we go joules joules 
And Jules is Jules and Force are really related together. What's Jules and Force? Force is I forget what it is. Anyway, Jules. Okay. So that's how many joules of energy the heaviest one is gonna have. Right? Which is a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot. So for for later, it takes joules of energy to boil one liter of water from zero degrees liquid to hundred degrees. Joules is the unit for four. Okay, awesome. Joules, nice. <laughs> You're catching me at a time where like I'm like, where are we going with all this, right? What's my units? I thought we were doing mathematics. So this is how much energy is going to have. It takes 400,000 joules of energy to boil water from zero to 100 degrees Celsius, right? Boiling temperature. I thought units for force is Newton. Force is Newton, yeah. I was flipping it around, right? But uh, joules is force times, force times time. Force times time? No, not force times time. But it could be force times time as well, I guess. I don't understand formulas uh, too well. But I can do the math. Nice. It should be pure water, I guess. So let's do 400, 420,000. So it takes 420,000 joules of energy to take water from zero degrees to 100 degrees. Right? So if we want to figure out. <coughs> Oops, my bad. Joules is a unit for energy, Newton is the unit for force. Yeah. Um, joules of energy to boil one liter of water so right now what we got to do is figure out how many liters of water this thing could boil right so this thing would be uh, per liter i guess uh, per liter right so we want to this is how many here joules over liters is equal to joules over liters we need to figure out right so this is our ratio which is four four two zero 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 and we have this many joules right so 2.68 times 10 to the 20 this is just proportionality right over this is joules this is joules this is one liter. We want to figure out how many liters this will take, right? You do cross multiplication. So X is going to be equal to this divided by this, right? So let's do this. So I'm just going to go 2.68 divided by 42 and then knock off three zeros for this because it's going to be this, the formula uh, here we know what this is so I'm just gonna write it out here so X is going to be 2.68 times 10 to the 20 over 4 2 0 0 0 and 0 right I forgot one zero missing a zero thank you little uh, bunga gorf every now and then I catch <laughs> I catch it when I do a repeat right so these four zeros are gonna knock this down to 16 now we're going to go 2.68 here we'll put this as a decimal too so this becomes 15 okay so what we're going to do is just go 2.68 divided by 4.2 2.68 oh you've done it awesome divided by 4.2 is that it that's it 0.63 so right now times 10 to the 15 and i'm going to erase this so let's take this guy out so how many liters of water can we boil we could boil 6.39 oops i should put it here liters li, liters of water boil is going to be 6.39 6.39 times 10 to the 15 liters okay an olympic swimming pool has 2.5 times 10 to the 6 liters of um, of water so three point uh my cousin my cousin borf <laughs> my cousin borf <laughs> nice <laughs> leader 
Did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong. Liter, right? So if, that, if it's that many liters and an Olympic swimming pool has, it should be 10 to the 14. It should be 10 to the 14. Oh yeah, I forgot to move that thing over. Thank you for the correction. Because I automatically moved the decimal place over. Thank you. Harmic, Harmic only gets a C plus on his math test, physics test. Oh no, Chicho only gets. A, I'm dropping, I'm doxing myself out, right? So check this out. So we got this Olympic swimming pool is what's two point five times ten to the six liters, right? So we don't really need to worry about this. We just go six point three nine divided by two point five. And this is times 10 to the 14 times 10 to the uh, ooh, 6, 10 to the 6, right? So what's 3.9 divided by 2.5? What tier is this? This got to be around high school. It's high school, for sure high school. Sorry if this is off topic, but they just released a really hard to see teaser of Robert Pattinson in the new Batsu. Did they? Uh, nice. I hope it's good. Liters of water in there, so cool. wow. We can't. It won't. It won't hit all the whole Earth, right? So let's check this out. This is six point three nine, six point three nine divided by two point five. Two point five is two point five six. Cool. So two point five six, two point five six times ten to the fourteen minus six is uh eight <laughs> that's a lot of olympic size swimming pools what did i just read what did they do to my man that man no it's a, is it that bad is the bat suit that bad so this is how many swimming pools uh olympic olympic swimming pools It'll evaporate or boil. Robert Pattinson, I don't know the name. I don't, I don't even know who Robert pa Pat Pattinson is. Right? So that's how many Olympic swimming pools. How much water is in Lake Erie? Like that's a lot. Oops. That's here. Let's write this out. Where are we going to write this out here? Let me erase this. So times 10 to the 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 3. You can boil. What does that become? Times 10, 1, 2, 3. Oh, one more because there's one here. 256 million. That can't be true. Hold on a second. Eight, eight, so six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah. 256 million Olympic sized swimming pools. What? Maybe. Hopefully, we didn't do any calculations wrong. Plus, how many pots of spaghetti could I make with all that boiled water? Looks all right. DC movies are so out of touch. Yeah. DC, uh, what will they that alone? Other than water, pools will need a serious repair too. Yeah. So seriously, how much? How many Olympic-sized swimming pools, or how much? How many liters does, does Lake Erie have? Right. Like, I don't know. We could look that up. How many liters of water in Lake Erie? Let's see how many loops liters of water in Lake Erie. How many gallon gallons? Oh, well, we could figure out gallons are there in Lake Erie. Answer. Uh, da, 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 da. cubic centimeters oh man where's the leader calculations 
Lifetimes. Oh, these numbers. Who's doing these mathematics? Present the stuff in reasonable numbers. Uh, we need one more comparison to make a smaller number so we can wrap our head around it. Yeah, we do. Weight of rock was in millions. Other than water pool, da, 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 da. 480 kilometers cubed. Yeah, I forget where we were. Volume centimeters. That says wiki. Better convert it, convert in kilometers cubed first. Okay, cool. Four, four hundred and eighty-three times ten to the twelve. Okay, cool. So we're not taking out all of Lake Erie, right? Chicho, which folder is best to post the? bat suit in this code oh the comic books folder for sure the comic books folder right so lake erie has 4.3 times 10 to the 14. Uh, oh hold on we've got two different answers these water in lake erie and astro will boil yeah oh yeah this was olympic size pools that's how many waters so it'll it'll evaporate 100 lake eries wow right so if we erase these so this is how much water it'll evaporate lake erie it will boil 75 lake eries cool so lake erie is um this is how much water it'll boil right and lake erie you divide this by lake erie lake erie is 4.83 times 10 to the 12th this factor here is 100 right so with when you do this this division you end up getting you end up boiling 76 lake eries that's a world event uh, huge 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 an asteroid 500 meters long uh 500 meters and uh, radius right a kilometer long will evaporate 75 lake eries so the great lakes will be gone right uh, da, 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 da. meters cubed seems like a fair bit but that energy where is it Doop times 10 to the 20 joules is pretty huge I don't know you think you did your calculation right uh, 75 lake years okay pretty sure it's that yeah did we discuss the material of the asteroid if it's made of iron is denser this yeah this is what we did this is actually if it's uh the densest asteroid 5.32 right that's the uh where is that <laughs> oh my god we did it here somewhere oh yeah we did we did it from here so we converted this to this so we went from uh da -da -da -da. this was the heavy asteroids okay that's the density of heavy asteroids and we did the conversion to how much this would weigh if it was a heavy asteroid and all of this calculation is the upper limit uh, okay we didn't do it for this one if we do it for this one um it's going to be an, an order of magnitude difference which which is a huge deal if this is an order of magnitude less at least an order of magnitude less then we're going from 75 lake eries to seven point uh seven point uh five lake eries right came in halfway apparently atomic bomb fat man had that many jewels 10 to the 13. uh so ours is 10 to the 20. this asteroid one kilometer long will have uh 10 to the where is it 10 to the 13 so 10 to the power of seven right so million plus times more energy than the atomic uh, than fat man right so just imagine 
a million Batmans going off, that's the same energy as one kilometer. And that's assuming if the velocity of this thing is correct, it's going at, which seems really high to me, which seems incredibly high to me. One more zero, I guess. Calculations need one more zero. Apparently, though, the, oh, okay. I did the math right, but I got 70, uh, 127 trillion gallons of water, then converted to liters. When the lightest will still boil almost 20 Lake Erie's. Cool. So 20 Lake Erie's, 75 Lake Erie's. Huge. Huge. Right? These what if scenarios make math exciting. Wish I had this in middle and high school. Yeah, really, it's super fun doing this stuff. It's just mental exercise, right? Math in real life. There's a reason why why I if you type in math and real life dot com, you'll go to my a math site that I haven't updated for a while because I need to mirror stuff. I need more resources to do, right? Uh, but math in real life is the name I chose for the website right the language of mathematics and math in real life this is math in real life right it's super cool i was born in dunkirk new york which is a town that is on lake erie and my house was only five minute walk from it that's cool must be cold in the winters i can just walk into a walmart to experience that <laughs> experience one part <laughs> That velocity seems low to me. It does it, based on what us uh, astrologers speak can be fifty thousand kilometers per hour. If it's low, then my God, we a couple of orders of magnitude off. But I had to take it. The initial velocity is quite reasonable for what I have read in the past. Really, nah, that's fast. 50,000 kilometers per hour asteroid one kilometer wide hitting the earth will high density will well low density to high density will evaporate anywhere between 20 to 75 lake eries wow <clears throat> how many calories is one cubic light year of butter <laughs> Would that amount uh, collapse into a black hole? Depends. Depends, I guess. Depends if it hits a uh, one cubic light year of bacon. <laughs> Together, yes, they create a black hole. Another puzzle with a uh, circle. A bit less numerical, maybe. Have fun. As uh, um, Somota, era. Um, you can't uh, from what I understand you actually see the link that you've posted but the chat doesn't see the link you post because we don't allow links to be posted in the chat just so people don't get zapped in any phishing scams but you're welcome to post the link in our discord page in the math folder um, we do have a discord page and you'll find it on the main twitch page where actually you can go to discord here this cord that should bring it up that's our main discord page I am a bit confused that it, it got to be time sent but I might be wrong for Lake Erie you got one order of magnitude difference Voyager 1 which we launched in 19 is currently going Wow, it's currently going 62,000 kilometers per hour. Super cool. Which changed the results to 750 Lake Erie's. Oh, really? For this one, the volume of, that's right, it's an order of magnitude. That's a lot, right? 10 times more. 700, 750 Lake Erie's to 200. From 200 Lake Erie's to 750 Lake Erie's or 20 Lake Erie's to 76 75 lake Erie's right it's a world event uh, it's huge if we get confirmation for that would be great do you like uh, computational math mm, I'm not sure what computational math is I like 
doing calculations and just playing around with numbers and possibilities well you have massive bodies accelerating a relatively small rock through a frictionless space <laughs> easy to go get to such speeds i guess yeah for sure and the mass of bodies is basically these asteroids that zoom around this little rock that zooms around there's the sun right it gets caught in its gravitational force and goes right and then another gigantic body so it's like rickish not ricocheting but uh um, what's that thing called spray uh, uh, ah, i forget what it's called <laughs> heaviest building in the world is four billion four billion ninety ninety eight million five thousand tons kilograms in weight wow one light year is that much so we can do the math on the butter pretty easy <laughs> nice Josie all right I sometimes meditate I'm imagining neutrons neutron stars to calm myself cool I can't do the math but I really want to know <laughs> little bungle Twitter told me an asteroid was heading at earth and that we were all gonna die then I looked up the facts and saw that the closest, the closest it would get is uh, 3.6 million miles away. Slingshot, thank you. Slingshot, slingshot around planets. Thank you very much, Steph. I'm at a loss for words today. I don't know why. You posted a uh, pics in Discord. Awesome. Thanks, Spider Man. Can we do the one tiny example on twitching units, like from? kilometers per hours to meters per second a uh, switching units you want switching units yeah we did the we did one but I can we can do it again easy peasy here let's do one centripetal force yeah sling uh, shooting off a planet is gravitational assist yeah that's how news outlets work nowadays no one is gonna click an article that says asteroid has point one chance of hitting us because it's 3.6 million miles away <laughs> and two million five hundred fifty thousand cubic meters every article says asteroid may gonna hit us man chicho hey saucy rossi how are you doing if you get time can you show any comics you got out oh dude we just went through at the beginning of the stream notification didn't go through i showed the stack of comics while we waited for people to come by It would be cool to calculate how much damage would one uh, one m2 of neutron star matter would do damage on impact 3m i meant oh man i'll watch it later yeah i, ju I just went through this they're mainly there's like three one dollar dc stuff but most of them are true believers and this is a stack that i put together to give to my student i give them two two a week that every time I go see him, I, I give him one every time I see him. I see him twice a week, right? So two of these I give him a week, and I'm picking up more every week. So let's do a conversion. Asteroid problem going down. I got to get a better eraser. Or wash this guy. So let's do straight up conversion. The coolest thing in space are neutron stars spinning uh, outward 700 times per second. I read that it creates a magnetic field so strong um, they then get the name mag magnetar. Wow, what is the current sub uh, subject? Right now we're just going to do a straight up conversion. Uh, for last hour we calculate the impact energy and destructive force of a one kilometer asteroid that weighs a lot one cubic light year is equivalent to uh, cubic meters see if you can find the density of which <laughs> was the negative effect of g5 oh sleepy waves so if we're going to go kilometers check this out kilometers 
per hour to meters per second and this is exactly what I do when I'm doing conversions right so whatever your number is let's assume your numbers here you want to convert this many kilometers per hour to meters per second so what you want to do is convert kilometers to meters that's easy so you multiply this by kilometers and over meter or meters over kilometers and you ask yourself what's the relationship between meters and kilometers one meter is 1,000 and one kilometer is 1,000 meters right so kilometers kills kilometers that's good we got meters up top we got meters in the bottom uh, meters up top over there right because that's what we want to get out now we have hours here we want seconds so we're going to kill the sec kill the hours right so we multiply this by hours now we're not going to go I don't usually go from hours to seconds I go hours to to minutes so you ask yourself what's the relationship between hours and minutes one hour is 60 minutes so hours kills hours and we want seconds in the bottom so we're going to put seconds down here and minutes up here and one minute equals 60 seconds so minutes kills minutes so the conversion is this you got seconds in the bottom seconds in the bottom so whatever your number is you multiply by 1,000, divide by 60, and divide by 60, where you divide by 60 squared, right? I hope that's clear. That's the way you do any conversion. That's the reason for uh, series four of the language of mathematics. If you go to my YouTube channel or go to my website and go to the math table of contents, uh, I, I'm in the works. It's been in the works for a while. But I started a whole series where we're converting... Uh, colored squares to colored triangles right like that's all we're doing because it doesn't make a difference you just have to lay it all properly and just kill you things right so if you go to series four of the language of mathematics you'll see this playing out the videos and at some point we're going to go back and complete that series right the card episode out tonight yeah i'm watching it it's good yeah and they get uh, star quakes that create gamma ray bursts that affect our atmosphere when uh, 50,000 light years away. Interesting. It's my pleasure, little Bungorf. How would I convert miles into feet? Oh, or what it's, what it's called? You just go, um, I don't know what the conversion factor is from miles to feet. So whatever you have here this many miles multiply this by miles miles over feet all you have to do is figure out one mile how many feet there are in one mile right look that up and put the number there and the miles kills the miles and you get feet out right can okay, have butter in one cubic of my year. <laughs> I love it, Josie. In all possibility, uh, there's eight, uh, I'm going to read this, there's 8.49 times 10 to the 50 kilograms of butter in one cubic light year. Nice, that's a lot of butter. In all possibility, there are even quark stars that are even more dense than neutral, neutron stars. Awesome. Imagining large astronomical bodies and events is somehow coming for sure. Indeed. Indeed. Incredible. I could make so much breakfast with that. <laughs> Square feet <and> miles. <laughs> a fun. A fun gang. Awesome. We didn't do too much math at the beginning of the stream. But we did a fair bit of math towards the end. Lots of calculations and numbers and stuff. How are we going to load this up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could you do a summary on probability on combinatorics? Oh, man. <laughs> summary. <laughs> you got smiley face. Fatty chicken. Uh, I'll give you the origin of probability on com uh, com combinations. We need a giant skillet. Uh, probability combinations. The origin of it is gaming. Gaming, right? Uh, what do you call it? Just people who made their lives made their livelihood from games of chance they came up with probability because they were trying to come up with games that would give them more probability of winning making more money 
right? So gamblers, gamblers. We should once do a poker stream using math probably for a victory. Um, um, I booker a plan on it. There's a friend of mine that's gone to the world poker tournaments and stuff like this, and we've been meaning to do that together for a while. Uh, just haven't got around to it. Definitely looking at the probability of the different types of hands you can get and stuff like this, and if you're riding the river card or last draw or whatever it is, right? At some point we will. But before we do that, well, actually maybe. I'm not sure which one's gonna come first. At some point, we're gonna do the probability of uh, craps, right? That's why I did one of the first things was the probability distribution for uh, for two die, right? Rolling two die, and I have a craps table that I've shown you guys that I made, right? Is zero a positive or a negative number? Neither, or maybe neither. And even more importantly, how would you go about proving which it is? There are proofs out there. You can look it up. I was banned from gambling, so no wonder I sucked at uh, PNC back in school. They didn't. They didn't let you gamble. Yeah. If you don't know, if you don't, if you haven't played games of chance, then uh, let me put it this way: the people that I've seen that have a better grasp of games of chance uh, probability are people who have participated in games of chance when they were younger. Uh, board games and stuff, right? Texas Hold'em, we used to play. And with wild cards even, King Little, Follow the Queen, uh, Tens Wild, <laughs> it's a crazy day, poker days. Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, hope you're well. Super weird, I haven't gotten a notification about a stream from Twitch in a while. Yeah, it seems like uh, today's uh, notifications went out late. So we're just looking at comic books for uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. One cubic light year of butter has enough calories to feed the current world population for <laughs> 8 times 10 to the 28 ages of the universe. <laughs> oh my God, that many? Yikes. Don't go yet, Chicho. We still need to talk about Batman. I, I haven't seen it. I got to I gotta check it out. Okay, let me go check it out. Let me go check it out. Da -ba 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 check out the batman suit let's check it out where is the comic books there it is Doop. it's very metal it looks like uh we just see the logo up top right looks very metal oh no no there's more picks oh look at this hmm he looks more like uh, I don't mind the chest plate the chest plates okay that one's really dark I can barely see it who's the villain in this one spider-man Who's the villain uh, in the next Batman movie? I think that'll decide uh, uh, if it's a legit suit or not. That last night, Lucky Seven. So that's uh, the, the, the ages of the universe worth of the current population of food. Whoa! Sorry, I posted too many pics on this card. No, 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 it's good. Do you have any recommendations for math books that have interesting perspectives, not like a textbook or anything? daredevil but it's just a little tease oh what daredevils what uh, oh i read just a favor uh they they hinted the video tinted the video red so he looked like daredevil because it's just a little tease oh that's what it is i have a link to post how do i do it it's a write-up on how ridiculously large 52 factorial is uh, you can post it on our discord page uh, on the math folder little uh, bongorf so rumors are he's gonna have every villain in the rogues gallery 
but we already have Catwoman casted and Penguin casted. Penguin, I heard. Really? Hmm. Saucy. <laughs> You're wrong, Chicho. <laughs> Redeem is. <laughs> Highlight is. 100th message. My message, 100. Yeah, Colin Farrell has been cast as Penguin. Suit looks awesome, does it? We have Andy Circus as Alfred. Okay, I haven't looked into what's going on. Colin Farrell, I like. He, he's he's a good actor. So we see. I don't know who the Batman guy is. What's his name? I haven't looked into it. Zoe Crafts. So this sounds like the 1998. Uh, my precious. Uh, 98 the first Batwoman uh, Tim uh, Tim Burton Catwoman and Penguin and is there a Riddler gonna be in there sorry I'm like a echo in here my, my chat it's scrolling and I'm typing messages <laughs> love London Boulevard with Colin nice looking forward to it looking forward to it what did I uh We just watch i can't remember what something that was pretty good i'm looking forward to boys starting again the boys starting again he's most known for playing edward Cullen uh from the twilight movies is he i don't know him i didn't want as you can guess i didn't watch the twilight movies <laughs> oh yeah they did cast riddler too yeah if there's penguin there's going to be a riddler uh coming with it to a degree robert Pattinson pretty decent actor actually he was good in the rover despite his twilight can't pass okay i don't know the guy at all it's six times 10 to the 54 calories of butter <laughs> so it's even bigger than 52 factorial <laughs> awesome josie robert patterson is on uh record absolutely hating making the twilight movies and for the longest time was just making super indie movie and a and a and a 24 uh and a 24 movies he's also in the new chris nolan movie okay <laughs> can you help me create an exact fit equation of y is equal to y is equal to mx plus b plus c plus <laughs> d but the setup data the y equals mx plus b is just a line so it would just be lines parallel going up wouldn't it Robert Pattinson is uh, playing no movie tenant. Uh, they some of it here in Estonia. They filmed some of it here in Estonia and was really tempted to sign up as an extra to see his, this process. Cool. Yeah, tenant. Man, that trailer looks fantastic. Tenant, tenant. Oh, I don't know if I've seen the trailer for tenant. I must have seen something. It rings a bell. Tenet, tenet. I gotta look this up. Oh, why is this ringing a bell? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I barely remember this. I gotta watch that again. Filmed. But the C and D are decimals with lots of decimals like the trillion place hmm? steep exponents christopher nolan is by far my favorite filmmaker ah oh, who's my favorite film my favorite filmmaker of all time is stanley kubrick uh, but he's passed away so who's my favorite filmmaker at present i don't know a movie discussion a movie discussion Maybe we should do a live streams talking about movies. All summer, we were hearing about Tenet because they, they're filming it here. It was a big thing for our small country. Cool. That'd be a fun idea, actually. Yeah. Nice. Should we call the stream, gang? Let's call the stream. Let's call this a stream. Fun time. I'm in 10th grade. Can you help me with my math homework? been trying to solve it for three hours two plus two is a maximum of four 
based on vectors could be zero too are you a tarantino fan i like the early tarantino stuff and i do like his movies um i like reservoir dogs a lot that was his first movie that i saw and i saw it in the theater so that one was fantastic jackie brown was great paul fiction was great um the last not the last one but the one before with the cowboy thing and the, that was pretty good i haven't watched the hollywood one i'm not i couldn't give a rat's ass about hollywood so um you know there's nothing there the only thing that i saw there that really intrigued me at all was the character of bruce lee because i'm a huge bruce lee fan i love bruce lee but i don't want to sit through a hollywood movie to watch bruce lee character so maybe i'll watch it at some point uh, i love hearing about your film interests yeah i love movies yeah me too gone through a lot two minutes one more fact one more fact josie do it for us no don't go it's midnight here in the uk midnight are you uh you're still working you're at work uh all the all the drunk guards are coming in now turn through sometimes is or we shouldn't call them drunk cards I, 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 I do that too uh, let's say let's say uh, people with a lot of things on their minds are trying to celebrate and whatnot Tarantino sometimes is prankster he makes crap just uh, just because he knows that people still buy it oh man sorry I missed so much of the stream I've got to make sure all my notifications are working I really enjoy uh, chatting with you guys yeah twitching jason i'm sorry it's just notification it didn't seem like it was going out properly today thanks always for streaming chicho i hope i can catch a little bit of the stream tomorrow uh no stream tomorrow stream saturday i hope i made it correct so stream saturday evening and sunday evening okay um at 8 30 p.m my time not hollywood one first chicho stream of caught thanks awesome glad you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed yourself uh stop you can do well but he likes to laugh over his audience from time to time he insults bruce does he insult bruce forget it dude i'm out i'm glad i haven't seen it because i'd be very pissed at uh tarantino if he did jackie Pro jackie brown was fantastic underrated no i haven't seen parasite yet but i know that director that i like i love that director right um uh, what's the train movie he made uh, uh Pier snow piercer was phenomenal it got a lot of bad reviews because people are stupid uh, but it was phenomenal movie snow piercer and i've seen some of his other uh korean movies that he's made uh, he's a fantastic director really if here here's the other one if every one of the billion stars in the galaxy had eight planets and each had 7.5 billion people then one cubic light year of butter is enough calories to sustain the universe of people for one million ages of the universe so in conclusion a cubic liter a cubic light year is big like really big <laughs> thanks josie <laughs> makes bruce to be a super arrogant uh, tarantino uh, maybe maybe he's uh no i won't say it no i won't say it. by the way with hollywood i don't think that his goal was to insult bruce lee but just make cliff character stand out more that was the reason for it at least that's how i saw it that's a positive way of looking at it oh sorry that was my bad yeah saturday saturday okay snow piercer is good very good and after watching snow piercer i went on ebay and i bought the two snow piercer books that i bought from ebay or i think or i might have bought it uh somewhere else there's two volumes of snow piercer that i bought just to read the comic books that's how much i loved the movie it was fantastic that cliff was the guy who even makes bruce look like a wuss and then the family made a mistake with the address and met cliff the uber match i really hated the scene maybe i hated it before i saw the movie but the whole movie seemed to build up okay you're going to need a, a lot of gas to make your butter <laughs> making a snow yeah i've heard i'm excited i'm excited i'm very very excited yeah actually i haven't seen a movie just to see watch snowpiercer it's a fantastic movie if you like dystopian movies great movie great movie 
Okay, gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the puzzles. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the mathematics. Thank you for the comic book talk. Thank you for the movie info and all that jazz. Uh, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Uh, if you're around, we'll talk Saturday, 8.30 p.m. my time or Sunday, 8.30 p.m. my time. Okay, aside from that, look for more streams next week, end of next week. You know, Thanos, but see Chicho, and everyone involved. Awesome gang, thanks, Chicho. We love you, love you guys too. And Josie, thank you very much for the keeping an eye out for my mathematics and providing all this beautiful, beautiful data, right? And everybody else, of course. Bye, everyone. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, evening, morning.